Hey guys, Silence here, here. Welcome to a let's play of Yoshi's Crafted World. So we are actually trying out the demo version before the actual game comes out. So guys, if you love this series or if you want me to play this series, let me know by hitting that like button down below or commenting down below what you actually love about Yoshi's Crafted World or even the whole general Yoshi's uh, yarn version of the series, I suppose. I have got this game ordered and I'm waiting for it to come in. Very excited if you guys want to see it as a Let's Play series as well. It is a very adorable game. Uh, it's going to be something a bit more, I guess, relaxed to watch. Uh, it is a very, very cute series. I guess the ladies will love it as well. Uh, so is myself. Oh, I can actually control the camera. <laughs> I love how it looks um, with all the cardboard and there's like this um, dead tag. I mean, the board itself, that's very adorable. So yeah, anyway guys, let's dive into the demo version of the game. Hopefully, we get to learn more about the game's um, story, I suppose. A bit of it, actually. Uh, and see whether this game will um, entice you to grab yourself a copy to play it for yourself. Alright, what's this? So, okay. So there's nothing on this one. The name's Finn. Finn Blockerfeller. <laughs> How do you do? So, I don't know. I don't know whether it's my monitor that's a bit too bright, but it looks a bit pixelated on Yoshi, or maybe that's that how it's supposed to be. Yoshi looks like a felt character. Yoshi, is it? This whole place is made up of crafts. Wanna come play in it? Great, head over, head over to Rail Yard Run. Alright, so I don't know, can we actually zoom in? It does look a bit too bright on my monitor. Hopefully it's not the same for you guys. Um, okay, we, we can press plus for the menu. Um, okay, so these are not accessible because it's a demo version. Number of players, oh, you can actually have more players. Wow, even the demo version lets you play multiplayer. That's cool. Uh, yeah, so let me know if you want me to see me play as a single player style or maybe a multiplayer. Maybe I could get one of my friends to come join me or maybe if this game does have an online multiplayer mode. Uh, if you want to play with me, let me know. Alright, so let's just go into the first world. Rail Yard Run. So the game loads pretty quickly, I guess, considering that um, we entered the main menu quite fast. Oh, it looks so good. The graphic looks so good. Although it does look a bit a bit too um, bright. Maybe the aperture is a bit too strong. I don't know. Uh, so A is jump. X so X is punch. And B is to eat your enemies. So yeah, as usual all the Yoshi games where you eat your enemies they become eggs. So I can't recall what button do I use to actually um, toss. Okay, so R is to toss your foes. You can use your left joy. Oh, you can target those things in the background. Cool. Okay. Okay, I can shoot my enemies. Nice. Okay, there's a secret path here. How do I flutter? Oh, okay, so pressing... Holding A will let you flutter. <laughs> so I kind of figure it out before I even press... Uh, b hitting the instruction boxes. Nice. Okay. Let's shoot the flower. So it's nice that you don't have to hold on to the R button to aim. Um, you just have to tap it once, then press R again to toss your enemies. Uh, how do I cancel? Oh, okay, so you can just press any button other than R to cancel. Um, are you okay? So, oh, okay, so you can actually move into the background. That's really cool. Did we miss anything? 
don't want to miss anything. Um, cause there are things that you can shoot in the background, like the cow. <laughs> nice. So let's just double check again. Oh, dang it. Okay, seems we're good. So you can only follow the yellow path. The yellow path of the tape. Feels a bit like um, Wizard of Oz. You're following the yellow brick road. Pretty linear game, I guess. But you have to be attentive with all the background characters, I suppose. Making an egg. Okay, so we, we knew all this before they even taught us how. Oh no. Can we actually go down the pipe? Okay, so apparently this pipe we can't. Tossing an egg. Yeah, we kind of figured it out. But we, I kind of used um, R instead of um, X. <laughs> so I don't know. Oh, I can't destroy him now because of... Oh no, that's not good. Oh no, my switch is running low on battery. Oh, is that my controller? Okay, so I gotta charge my controller soon. Okay, we can actually hit... There we go. Oh, there are characters in the background. Wow, there is really no restrictions to the depth, I suppose. Nice. So we just have to get all the coins. Uh, there is that character there. Can we hit this? Oh, we can! So I oh we need more we need more eggs. Um can we eat the ones here? Oh they are different colored ones. Okay. Let's see. Can we hit the shy guy here? There we go. Poor fella. He's just minding his own business. <laughs> uh yeah. So we kind of figure out all these as well. Do I have to destroy all of them? Let's get more eggs. There's a cow over there. Okay, so this is the thing that we need to hit and was shown in the trailer. There we go. So far the game is really adorable. What is this? Um... And I'm digging the music, it's very, it's very relaxing. If you think you're going to find any gems, think again. In fact, you never even leave this place, because it's the demo. <laughs> oh no, what did you do? Oh no, he took away the engine. Oh, he took away the parts, oh no. Without a working train, you're dead in your tracks. Good luck finding the missing parts. Okay. Okay, I guess we can go this way. Now we oh, shoot! I, sh I wanted to eat you! Can we destroy the houses? Apparently not, so there is a part here. So we hit the parts with the eggs to get them? I don't get it. The concept is a bit... Oh, wait! Oh, the parts are following us now! That's so cool! I wonder what happens when we run out of eggs. Oh no, ran out of eggs. Can we use the parts? Oh, the parts are like infinite eggs. That's so cool.
Okay. Um, I think we can destroy this house. There we go. So we got another part. Okay. Let's see, is there anything else we can destroy? No, why do I want to use an egg to... Bonk the egg box? It feels a bit like an old arcade game with, um, I don't know, like, um... You know, like those shooter, shooter arcade games? Okay, we went one big round. Let's uh, go up here, collect them coins. Okay, so how are you going to get the rest of the stuff? Okay, um, so I guess now we can jump up since there's a hole here. Oh, that was really cute. We get to bonk the enemies sitting there uh, by flattening them with the the cardboard. <laughs> oh, nice. So we are two red coins away. Gotta collect them all. One more to go. Nice. Uh oh. Did I just block myself? Hopefully not. Oh. So. The health bar is quite big. Or rather, it has a full circle of health. There we go, we got the last part. Okay, so we're done, I suppose. Um, let's see, we, we are short of one red coin. Um, my completionist blood is asking me to find it. <laughs> okay, so where is it? Um, there it is. Nice. Okay, so are we done? We Yeah, we just need to get 100 coins to get the first flower. Um, we are short one flower though. I guess that's where the piranha plant came in. We kind of didn't kill it. So I guess if I want to complete everything, I have to come back to this stage again. Ah, but that's fine. I can do that in the main game, I suppose. Hopefully we don't have to replay this entire section. Alright, so... We have to throw the parts onto the train. That's cute! So cute! Okay. Let's go! Ah, oh, that's, that's so adorable. They had to purposely make lines on the, the top of the train so that Yoshi can walk on it. Oh, we can actually squat through. Jump. It would be kind of terrible if I miss out on stuff that I could actually shoot while on the train. Oh, I ran out of eggs. Oh no. Oh, there's a flower there. Oh my goodness. No. Oh, that is so harsh. Okay. Oh, that was terrible. I had that one egg and I missed that last flower. Alright, guys. Anyways, you know what to look out for if you ever tried the demo of the game for yourself or maybe if you're planning to buy the main game like I, I did yeah so to get a full completionist run I suppose <laughs> all right so I wonder how long uh, of the story do we get to try in the demo Oh, look! Oh, there's so many of them! You know, the first time I saw these characters uh, in the previous Yoshi game, um, I found them 
very weird looking. I mean, I still do, but they are kind of weird, adorable. So it's like hen kawaii. I don't know. So it, yeah, in Japanese, hen is strange and kawaii is cute. So, um, so we're going backwards. Oh, it's a time attack now. Touch a Poochy Pup and it will follow you. Oh, cool! So it's a time attack. Okay, so we have to go find the Poochies. I can see one of them there already. Why is it showing me my health? Oh, wait! Are we playing the map in reverse now? I mean, we see it differently? Yeah, I got one! Okay, so where is the other two? Okay, so we don't really need the health. But we do need eggs though. Just in case. Um, where's the other Poochie? Okay, there's a Piranha here. So all of these are just health. So I guess within this um, version of the game, you don't really have to take your time, you just have to rush through it. So I guess what I've been doing is just a waste of effort. <laughs> What's this? Oh, the checkpoint, okay. So the checkpoints are pretty automatic, you don't have to destroy them or anything. Um, okay, let's get the Poochie here. Oh, dang it. There we go, you got a second Poochie. Um, we're gonna have to miss all these because they are just health. Okay, let's keep going. Where is the last Poochie? Oh, we, we tossed the Poochie and the Piranha Plant. Oh, that was hilarious. Oh, how are we gonna get you? Oh, we can to go underneath. There we go, we got all three. So I guess we run this way. There we go. And that's a very creative way to reuse the stage. Oh! So the three Poochies we went after were the tiny ones? I don't know, I still find the graphics a bit strange. It doesn't look as polished as what we saw in the trailer. Or maybe it's just my monitor settings, I don't know. Guys, what do you think about the graphic style of the game? I mean, it's, it's meant to be adorable and cute and woolly, but Somehow it looks a bit pixelated due to the style, I suppose. I don't know. Let me know if it's just me. Or are you guys experiencing it as well? Hey Yoshi! How do you like Sunshine Station? So much to see, huh? I've been hoping for a local souvenir. I'd love some cows, please. I think five should do the trick. I think I did get a few cows. If you see one, just toss an egg to a sucker. <laughs> I didn't expect that language from it. Okay, so I guess this is the only stage that we are able to play. After all, it's just focusing on this particular stage, which was what they used for the trailer. Um, you have multiple stuff to get you um, playing the stages again, which is pretty fun uh, and an ingenious way of reusing the stage, especially that um, touching the Poochies. Um, version of the level where you play the stage backwards. It was very very creative. The whole game itself is very creative with the outlook, the concept, the style and of course with our lovable Yoshi character that everybody loves Yoshi. I guess I don't I don't know anyone who actually hates Yoshi but anyway hey guys let me know in the comments down below if you actually do not like Yoshi I suppose or if you do love Yoshi let me know why we will actually love the green lovable character from the Mario series. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you are getting a copy of the game itself also in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys soon if you guys want a Let's Play series of this game. Until then, bye!